and Jim. And welcome back to another Meteorology Monday. So today we are going to talk about a meteorologist reacts to Atomic Twister. Atomic Twister. Came out about 2002, 2002. roughly. Yep. And um, boy, have we got some opinions. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen our Into the Storm one, this movie was worse. <laughs> First of all, a shout out to one of our subscribers who actually suggested yes. us watching this movie and yes. reacting to it. So here's to them and um, oh boy, where do oh we boy. even begin? Let's just get into it. So the storm has, the tornado has come in, blew out the windows, and come on, son, let's run outside. Why not just, you know, take cover? You know, if they were 10 seconds faster, they would have gotten hit by that hole. It's not raining. <laughs> it's not lightning. It's not thundering. They're not being hit by debris. Let's hide under the vehicle. In every tornado movie, does there have to be this scene? <laughs> Asking for a friend, because Lord have mercy, it's in every single movie. Okay, so let's continue to run in the direction that the tornado is coming. Yeah, why not zigzag? If it's going this way, run that way. <laughs> um, let's let's hide under some farm equipment. That the tornado, oh, we can't pick that up. Nope, it's too heavy. Yeah. Every single tornado movie has to have this scene. I don't um, understand. It's old. We've seen it. If there's that much force to lift a grown woman vertical, <laughs> how much do we believe that this little boy has enough strength to hold on? Oh, yes, there's that too. To her being lifted vertically, yet the, the storm is still further behind her. So there's no, no updraft at this yeah. point. It should be more blowing horizontally than vertically at this point because it hasn't really right. gotten on top of them yet. Because if the tornado was on top of them, then obviously the farm equipment and the small child would be gone as well. The small child would have been sucked right out of it too because he's looking through an opening. Of course, Hollywood's entertainment value there is to kind of stir emotion. And you know now we have the history behind this little boy that grows up to be a deputy and is now in a similar circumstance yeah. with tornadoes and so okay we get it it's kind of like twister again going right back to the twister playbook when joe was a little girl and her father yeah. got sucked out it's of the storm shelter twister. by a tornado it's just a bad twister read. it's just i mean twister did fine you don't have to remake it as something else twister set the bar peeps i mean it's just it is what it is yeah. and yep yeah. mm, nope <laughs> Moving right along then. Clip number two. Clip number two. So this is after so this his is house was destroyed and the babysitter died. The babysitter died and his mom is still in the nuclear plant. So the small child is going towards his mom. Let's appreciate the scene. I pause it on real quick. <laughs> we didn't mention anything in the last clip, but you knew it was coming, right? You've seen enough meteorologist reacts to know. Where's the wall cloud? <laughs> Where is any sort of storm structure in this? It's not. I don't. Hold my laptop. <clears throat> I don't understand how, like, if you're going to be doing a weather movie and you're going to be doing, like, there's there's lots of meteorology, there's meteorologists, there's people who know stuff about weather or there's tornadoes or something. How do you not get the storm structure right? Like, that is the one thing that has to be right. This, you can't have a tornado with these types of clouds. You can't even have rain with these types of clouds. <laughs> it's not even raining. <laughs> I see sunlight. This, I, you, you just drop a tornado. There wasn't, there's no wall cloud, there's no forming. It just, boom, there it is. And That's, look at how much the wind just, field is around it already. I mean. It didn't build up to anything. It's just already like that. You I, know, they put that much effort into CGI to do the tornado part. They can put more effort into the rest of the cloud structure too. Exactly, a simple Google search. I mean, even, Lord have mercy, even Wikipedia knows how a tornado forms. <laughs> Heck, just watch the first five minutes of The Wizard of Oz and you'd have a good storm structure right there. Uh... <laughs> Let's finish watching that part. I digress. Clip 
Claire's guys over here. No, no look of panic on his face, like, I've got to get away from here. He's still just focused on what happened and is traumatized by that. But, yeah, there's a tornado over to the left of me in the field. Might be heading my way. I just, there are no more words left to express the pain. <laughs> These types of scenes. Clip number three. Number three. Slate gray clouds. Slate gray clouds. No tornado. No tornado. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> bam! It's right there. There it is. He didn't hear it. There was no wind. Did you see the flag wasn't blowing in the background? Just nothing. He's on his phone. And now there's this. Poor Stu is running for his life. And okay, so let's let's take a look at that. Let's break that down just. For a quick second. So right before he got sucked up, everything behind him and everything in the foreground seems to be moving from left to right. Yeah. Just about, you know. He goes vertical. Vertical. There's no he's, sweeping off his feet. He's heavier he's than just... the pieces of paper. He's, he's heavier than the debris that's going around. And yet he goes vertical, but everything goes from left to right in the screen. It's not, I mean, tornado, the wind, it just, I don't. It's not that hard to get this stuff right. But he's not even like yeah. in the middle of the tornado, so where's the wind blowing him up? Because the, the the inside of the tornado is the part that's going straight up. Like you have the wind being sucked up the middle if of it's, it. If it's your classic tornado it's, single strike, we're not talking multiple vortex, no. blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you know, a typical tornado, you know, the, the part where you would go vertical is not outside the main funnel. No, on the outside everything is going like like this. It's a lot of left and rights and stuff, but mm -hmm. and that's what gives you that momentum right. in the very center because it's like a little little low pressure. Zone, and some people but... might think, oh well, you know, I've seen videos where uh, the roof of the house was lifted up in front of a tornado. So see, there's rising motion. Well, no, not necessarily because no. it's usually horizontal motion that is hitting the side of the house and then is forced upward, right. causing the roof to peel upward and then you start getting stuff that yeah. starts getting up and into things and yeah. uh, sometimes it's tossed completely you know, horizontal, sometimes it goes at an angle, some smaller pieces of debris go a little bit more vertical, but for a human being to be running away from it and to get sucked up feet first, feet first. not head first, no. he doesn't go this way, he, he gets sucked up this way. Whoosh. I guess they're consistent because the mom did the same thing. It's true, it's true. It I must be the same tornado. They're trying to draw parallels where parallels should not have been drawn. <laughs> There's scene number three. Do we have a scene number four? I believe we do. Shall let's, we move on? Let's move on. Let's see what nonsense clip number four has for us. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. And he stops. Oh! Oh! Hang on! Pausing it here. <laughs> Just when you thought it could get no worse. What is this? <laughs> Why did he stop? Why is he standing on his car? Obviously the cloud stretcher is wrong. We've been over that. They're not even, they're not satellite tornadoes because as the movie goes on, they don't go around each other. If they're sister tornadoes, no, this isn't the right setup for that. I mean, the Hollywood. storm structure is not there for the first tornado. What storm? Not even there for the second tornado. There's not even a storm. I don't, I don't. <laughs> uh, I know it's like different movies, same rant, but if you're gonna make a movie about a topic, know the topic you're about to make the movie on! <laughs> oh, and I think we've discovered that some of these actually went clockwise and I not believe it's one of these! I think it's the <laughs> one on the right in either this scene or the next scene. So, one of them's going clockwise! And if there is two Which tornadoes that are in close proximity, possibility. 
from maybe the same storm, yes, you will have one that goes clockwise, yeah. one that goes counterclockwise, especially if there's a bow effect and you get some spin downs. Yes. But that there's is true. no cloud this dynamics is not... here to show any of that happening. No. It's just two random tornadoes spinning whatever direction they decide to spin it in, and it's just not accurate. No, there's so much physics that goes into this that just it can't it pains her <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't work it doesn't work so there you have four clips there are some clips and so on top of that i took notes my first note is there's a whole uh, the atomic twister part comes from the tornado hits a nuclear plant actually three tornadoes hit a nuclear plant and we were watching this movie with my brother who's an engineer who said that that part is also completely wrong but moving along <laughs> we're not going to focus on the engineering part just the meteorology yeah. part so there's that being said for that now we're, well, let's go back to meteorology so okay the movie takes place in western tennessee western tennessee how many tornadoes does western tennessee get does it get four in an hour <laughs> there have been times where there's been a huge outbreak, but mm -hmm. it would have a definite cloud structure, definite mm -hmm. storm, overall storm structure. Mm -hmm. um, it would not look like that. No. That just looks like they took a day in December in, in Western Tennessee and did some CGI funnels overlaid on top of it. Yeah. If you're gonna have four tornadoes in one day, you gotta have the super outbreak type of structure. You've got to have the squall line in the front. I didn't see a radar once. No. How are these people knowing where it went? There was uh, an indication at the nuclear power plant where the one operator that was there, she said they issued us a storm warning or a tornado watch or something like that. Yeah. That was about all the meteorology with that. And then I think the sheriff in the sheriff's office mm -hmm. mentioned something about the tornado watch and something along that line. Oh, yes. That Other than that, thing. that was all their warning was. That's it. You know, we, we got upgraded to a watch, but they actually looked and said, the weather looks kind of weird. Hmm, this looks like we're going to have a stormy day today. Yeah. And then the later, sudden. the tornado watch gets issued. Yeah. And then there was reference further in the movie on how, yeah, look, you know, uh, by the time we know it, there's a tornado on the ground, it's already tearing things up. I think he I mentioned- I have that quote written down. We're gonna jump that quote right now. They don't give a tornado warning till your house is 50 feet from where you built it. <laughs> Which A, ouch. <laughs> B, in 2002, may have been slightly true. <laughs> um, But yeah, I, the, listen guys, the National Weather Service is pretty good with issuing tornado watches. There might be a chance of tornadoes. Let's put out a watch. The warnings they might be a little behind on. Okay, it's on the ground, let's issue a warning. Comes from a lot of things. Tornadoes are hard to forecast. But at least the watch is normally there most of the day. You know there's a chance. Don't know if it's gonna happen, but you know there's pretty much a chance. That's right. um, so for there just to be basically no warning until the tornado is forming and then they issue a watch and then it hits the power plant and then they issue the warning. Uh, not quite realistic. <laughs> Technology back then was good enough that, yeah. I mean, you'd always have your one-offs where you had a tornado that formed outside of a watch area yeah. or a watch wasn't posted and one formed, but not on a day Not where... on a super outbreak day with four tornadoes. Exactly. That, that just wouldn't You would happen. know. You would know. Because that kind of system, you have a huge front meeting up with another... Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you probably don't care to hear, but there's a lot of big scale dynamics that go into a situation like this where your meteorologists are gonna know that it's gonna be a yeah. bad weather day. Yeah, you know, even back in 2002, they, they had all that information yeah. and it, yeah. you weren't caught off guard, yeah. like that, especially meteorologists in West Tennessee that have been there and they know yeah. what's going on. Yeah, um, there were a lot of jabs at meteorologists in this movie <laughs> that just weren't necessary. Especially when you can't even get the cloud structure for a tornado right. I think this, the, the movie focused probably pretty much balanced on um, yeah. the the plant yeah. and its operations and the weather that was coming in to affect the operations. The tornadoes were more like a character to inconvenience the 
plot of the nuclear power plant workers and stuff like that. They brought so, it in just to stir things up. And that's enough of that! <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. There you have Meteorologist it. Meteorologist reacts to Atomic Twister. Atomic Twister. The only thing that could have made this movie better is if the nuclear plant actually blew up. <laughs> <laughs> My opinion. <laughs> Could have saved the so, movie, just be done with it all. <laughs> Would you say that was that was a waste of 87 minutes? It was a waste of 87 <laughs> minutes! I could have done 87 different things in the time it took me to watch this movie. Oh, that was so funny. Okay, so we're gonna break it down for you. Meteorological content and then overall entertainment factor. Okay. So in terms of meteorological content. On a scale from into the storm to 10, it was a negative two into the storms. <laughs> it was not good. It, it was it was on the low end of the scale. Uh, At least Into the Storm had better graphics. None of it made sense. Like you said, you know, they made the tornadoes appear as the catalyst for all the crazy dynamics. Right. And then focusing on the catastrophe of a potential meltdown. Right. But again, you know, the way they factored in the weather to make that a part of this, right. it could have been done so much better. It could have been done better. It's a it's a really low Number it's me. low on the scale <laughs> for meteorological uh, accuracy. Really low. How about entertainment value? Really low. <laughs> like I said, it's kind of a waste of 87 minutes. <laughs> I would say, um, you know, it, it's it's maybe a, maybe a four. You might stretch it to a five a if you really weren't into the weather part of it. But frustrating because they just, I mean, even from the the other side where you have everybody trying to prevent this nuclear meltdown. They all just stood there and talked the entire time. That's right. It's like we have 30 seconds to shut everything down because these cores are going to be exposed, the rods are going to be exposed and everything's going to blow up. And they're sitting there arguing about literally nothing. That's right. <laughs> so it was just, it was a frustrating movie from that aspect also. And then add on top, knowing the weather was wrong. I'm glad we had an opportunity to watch it. It was definitely an experience. And we could react to it, so. <laughs> There the you reacting go. part is my favorite part. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> you almost came out of your seat a few times. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's therapeutic, you know? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think of the movie. If you watch it, if you have watched it previously, if you're planning on watch it, watching it, um, it's up to you. You have our opinions. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we didn't ruin it for you before you had a chance to watch it. Proceed but... however you feel fit, you know. <laughs> and, and let us know your experience. Comment below. Definitely. It is what it is. <laughs> like, like and subscribe for these two meteorologists who just went through that experience. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And if you feel like it, Go ahead and check us out on other social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. That'll pop up right about here. Yep, and as always, make sure to subscribe so you never miss another Meteorology Monday. And like this video so that we know that you guys like uh, our Meteorologist React series. And uh, we will hit up another movie soon. That's right. There's still many a tornado or weather movie that needs to be looked at. That's right. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And happy 